Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome and thanks for joining from different geographical regions. Some of you are from Middle East, India or Far East. Uh, my name is Ajay Sharma. I'm a senior product specialist working in analytical instrumentation and lab informatics for last three decades. And I especially you know, specialize in chromatography solutions as well as informatic solutions. And today I shall be presenting to you uh, TOGA, which is a transformer gas oil analyzer. Uh, it's uh, widely used in uh, electrical department labs, uh, state electricity department. Uh, they they con continually monitor the health of the transformers uh, which is installed all across the country or the cities. And th there will be a short presentation, which is like 20, 30 minutes of presentation on what this uh, Toga uh, transformer or gas oil is, what is this analyzer, what are the various specifications, how you can check for it and prevent damage or disruption in uh, transmitting the power across the states. This is one part and then we, I will take you after this session. I will also have a live demonstration where I take you to the, my lab uh, in front of the equipment where I can open and show you all the technical advancements which are done over the last few decades by uh, Agilent Technologies in developing gas chromatography products, uh, heads, headspace samplers, and also not to uh, not to forget that the uh, software is equally uh, part of the solution which is very important these days when we are all working from home or we are supposed to also work sometimes remotely and then how these softwares can be used so that you can you you do not have any disruption in the lab analysis so with this i will start my session and then if you have any questions do uh, you 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 can start posting them in the chat box and then uh, the, we will uh, take it up all the all your questions after this presentation and then if there are any questions which are left unanswered probably that can be taken by through the emails later we have your registered emails available with us and then uh, which you have shared during registration so let's begin with the with the transformer oil gas analyzer and this analyzer is this analyzer uh, uh, before we be, i begin with the analyzer itself uh, let me just brief you of Gulf Bioanalytical, the, the, the organization which is providing these solutions to all of our users. So this was established in 1999, which is almost two decades ago in Dubai, incorporated in a small room in an apartment, and then slowly started expanding in different Middle Eastern regions, which is Saudi Arabia, and then also we set up offices in India as well as in Southeast Asia. And uh, during these, uh, Day, last couple of day, years, we have been transforming our organization to be digitally ready so that we can serve our customers all across the regions. And then uh, we are a comprehensive lab solution providers for hydrocarbon industries, for analytical solutions, for life science industries. And we represent some of those world leading scientific and analytical manufacturers across the world. And we partner with them, not only just for sale and service, but to provide value added cost effective services to all our clientele. Now, we 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 do add values to the local needs of the market so all our offices are, are very well equipped to handle all sales service logistic distribution warehousing accounts etc so we are constantly striving to improve our services to our customers and also expand our product portfolios so we are uh, we are expanding thanks to you all of you for your patronage and we've been uh, growing year over year for last two decades so 
with this i will start with the with the transformer and then what is the transformer and the, the we are all well familiar with the ubiquity of electricity this is one of the uh, major components of power transmission so whenever the power is generated uh, you know hydropower or coal power or, or outside the city this is to be transmitted to so that you know it goes to the all the users when we are transmitting power it goes through a very various losses and it is not possible to transmit power as we consume so we have to either step up or step it down so we we do in uh, step up the voltage at the source where we are generating and we step it down at the destination where we are using so this stepping up and stepping down involves a, a lot of transformers which which are probably very expensive and they do come in various sizes starting from few cubic meters or centimeters or even to tons of weight you know so these transformers can be very expensive device but very essential for transmission and difficult without this you cannot transport the electricity from source to the consumer and these transformers they after a couple of months or years of usage they they do develop some uh, maintenance they do have some maintenance requirements and then we need to monitor those uh, so that they don't fail so we need to prevent the faults occurring before they occur so that you know the power is not lost and the user is consume uh, getting uh, in uninterrupted power all the time so this is very important a uh, piece of equipment uh, all all of you are very well familiar of i think this is the transformer and then these transformers uh, they 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 actually are filled with an oil and that is generally a refined mineral oil or nowadays even synthetic oils are formulations are being used just to be more user friendly environmental friendly and uh, the, these oils you know they 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 are used as an excellent insulating property so yeah this uh, um, it, it's not just the air air is not suitable at high voltages because that will lead to an corona discharge or an arcing so we prevent this by using a high quality refined mineral oils here so these transformers they are filled with oil to create insulating insulation inside and it also helps prevent corona discharge and arcing it also serves as a coolant at times so this air uh, air as a dielectric medium is okay but then at very high voltages it tends to produce corona so not the corona which we are suffering these days but the corona discharge which is an arcing and this this uh, uh, oil is generally you know specified to be a fireproof or you know has a very higher firing point of more than 300 degrees celsius or they have different classes of transformer oil you know class k transform oil etc and that why do we analyze this oil in our labs uh, using gas chromatography is because this oil insulation may decompose under influence of thermal electrical and mechanical stress so as it is these transformers are installed in the remote areas of the cities or countries you know where they are open to all the environmental stress and then if they, the thermal degradation electric the use this oil tends to become weaker so this there are this oil tends to decompose certain faults in electric transform may produce gases so when it starts to degrade it starts producing some, some gases and these gases are part of the dissolved gases inside this oil so identification and quantification of these gases can be used as a diagnostic tool to assess the condition of the transformer so if if we we monitor and sample how much is these dissolved gases in the transformer oil we are able to say th this requires a replacement of oil or you can prevent any uh, breakdown of transformers so this is very important uh, tool to measure the condition and make a preventive maintenance on transformers 
amount of individual gases that are analyzed may be indicated by the type of the degree of abnormality responsible for gas generation also depending on the which gas is uh, uh, crossing the limits of specifications or increasing for example you know if you probably have a methane which is increasing beyond 80 ppm level probably you will have a condition called sparking or you can have an arcing condition because if acetylene is exceeding to a very high value exceeding more than 7 ppm or 10 ppm so all these specified limits are to be maintained and measured or monitored on a regular basis so that you are able to prevent any breakdown in these transformers and then there is a total combustible gases limits allowed is 4630 here so there are some non-combustible gases and there are some combustible gases which are dissolved as a part of this oil and all these needs to be monitored on a regular basis so we help you in doing this analysis how do we do this analysis is a few steps procedures here which is beginning of the of course you you need to uh, take the sample oil from the site from the transformer are uh, using a, a gas tight enclosure or in a gas tight syringe and then once you bring this sample which is airtight so there should not be any leak uh, air leak you know because we are also going to measure oxygen nitrogen in your sample and then the, this once it is collected brought to the labs you need to fill it in different vials for analysis and different vials uh we cannot we, we need to purge with organ make it free from air so there is no air left in these vials so we need to remove all the oxygen or nitrogen or moisture in these vials and purge them with the argon and once they are purged with the argon we fill the vial with the with the sample oil we collected from the site and once these the, they can be filled by using some automated uh, equipments available which is you know turntables are there automated for a large number of samples which crimp these vials vials so they are leak free and they are automated so that you know you do not get a f uh, false readings once these vials are purged filled and are ready for analysis they are transferred to the gas chromatography uh, headspace sampler and you can just put these racks over here you know these racks come in different sizes you can uh, have a system where you can do just 12 vials or you can do 111 vials even we have a new headspace sampler where you can do fewer samples so these vials are then equilibrated in the system and then extracted by a sample loop inside the headspace sampler and then injected onto a GC. So uh, here you see the uh, picture of the equipment which I will be showing you live uh, in, in, in the lab from the, and then you can see that this is the gas chromatograph on the left hand side and on the right hand side is the headspace sampler where we are putting all our uh, transform oil sample vials here for the analysis. And this uh, analysis happens and all the sample is transferred using a fused silica transfer line, which makes it a very strong, uh, you know, uh, sensitive analysis so that it is uh, analyzed on a GC plot columns, which are installed in the GC oven. I will explain it to you in the, in the next coming few slides. So this analyzer is built by uh, Gulf Bioanalytical along with Agilent Technologies who have come out with world-class uh, system, new system release called 8890GC. So this system is designed and produced by Gulf Bioanalytical. What is the, it's a guaranteed solution and how does this begin uh, that you receive a guaranteed analyzer for your samples? So we begin with the document specifications and expectation in the application questionnaire. It's very important for us to know what is the application you wish to carry on. You know, what are your specifications? What are your different analytes? How do you want to 
quantify them or how do you want what is the minimum detectable limits or minimum quantitative limits you are looking forward to once we have this information our our sales team gets in touch and discusses all these various requirements we and we we have a team of product specialist who who define the solution that what are the columns or what are the column id or the column you know coating stationary phase is uh, suitable for such a sample so product specialist gets involved in creating the solution and also uh, educating all the users about the new technology which is being developed a year of a year over year and then once the solution is fixed we we pr produce this analyzer in our uh, dubai lab or in our india lab these application team then we start testing it and then we can also carry on the factory acceptance test or site acceptance test these procedure are laid out very nicely and then uh, this is tested and documented and once you user accepts the fat is passed or approved it is shipped to the customer site where it is installed and commissioned by the local service engineers and there is a site acceptance test commissioned during this phase and then once the system is running for a you know warranty period of one year or two year as the case may be the our sales support uh, serve after sales service support takes it over and then our engineers you can schedule preventive maintenance or you can have so service contracts and you can have a comprehensive service contracts even including training uh, and your new users arriving in the lab so all this is part of the production cycle or the guarantee to the analyzer it is not just that we 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 procure the equipment and we supply the equipment we we take care of the total solution right from its birth to the its complete cycle of the analytical instrument which is probably 10 years or more so this is how uh, gulf bioanalytical will add value to the products like gas chromatography and so, uh, give give such solutions to you to the users and then a uh, toga analyzer this toga analyzer is based on the latest generation of agile and gc system so agile and gc system as it's known worldwide for last uh, four to five decades of uh, existence you know it's very famous gc uh, previously known as you know the hewlett packard gcs like if you are familiar with the 5890 gcs this was the you know it's a workhorse and it's written in most of the journals you can refer to and this is the gc which is now uh, intelligent gc it is a new model we have come out with you know this is a analytical capability which is completely aligned with the previous units which are very popular units as well which is 7890 unit so probably if you you are uh, migrating your old system to a new new generation gc you don't have to think twice to revalidate the methods they it is just uh, very easy to transport transfer the methods from old gc to new gcs these gcs are self aware gcs using built in intelligence i will go through some of the screenshots how this gc is called a smart gc or an intelligent gc and uh, customer is informed of the configuration status intervention needs and maintenance procedure so all the users will be informed right from this screen touch screen uh, that what is the system feeling about so it monitors itself and informs the user that what is the current status of the health system you know uh, and results in analyst having high confidence in data so the 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 results produced by such a intelligent self aware gc uh, the, the users have a very high confidence in reporting them and also for the external audit needs so whenever uh, the, uh, auditors are there to check for the results or data accuracy you probably have it uh, very quickly at hand and these are all recorded in the software as well called open lab network cds software and some of the uh, enhancements i will take you through in this analyzer 8890 are uh, of course the the if you have seen the previous gc the keypad here is gone that is history so it has been replaced by 7 inch 
touch screen it is a capacitive touch screen where you know because in the labs it's safety reason many many times a user is wearing gloves so these touch screens you can operate using including the safety gloves and they have a display available at a glance which is enhanced di diagnostics so it is a kind of a gc you get uh, along with the service engineer you can say so you don't have to call an engineer uh, frequently to ask for one error or one problem to another but it tells you by itself here on this screen there is a diagnostics built in and then this also has a chromatographic attributes for example you want to view the chromatogram right here on the screen you can view the chromatogram also it has a maintenance uh, built-in maintenance uh, alarms and settings you can get a early maintenance feedback alarms you can program it and you so it's going to display it for you and i think the most important is the status of the instrument at any point of time continuously 24 by 7 the instrument monitors itself and informs the user about its status so if there is a you know also it is using the traffic light code so you know if it is a red color it's an it's a severe error if it is a yellow it's kind of a warning that you must take some corrective action if required and if it is all green probably it's good to go and analyze your sample everything is running good so also it has an onboard uh, cpu which means uh, you can connect to a browser interface so you can connect it to a tablet a mobile phone or a computer uh, so this screen if you cannot physically reach maybe you are working from home but you still want to see what's going on in this dc this screen can be brought to your on a browser so it can be a chrome browser explorer or any other browser but then of course through the it security of your organization and you can connect it securely to this screen using a browser interface and then you can work on it remotely as if you are present locally in the lab at that moment so and also it has a section below which is called usb smart key option here there are a couple of usb ports available which connects to the columns which are connected inside so these columns are, are has got all the history traceability available where you can you know you just plug in your columns and then you know what, what is this uh, phase of the column what is the length id you know all the dimensions and then how many injections has been done so you have a complete track traceability of the columns which was not the case any time before and this is how I, I am sharing with you the browser interface looks like or the touch screen looks like so this is a local user interface or a browser interface you have an access to each and every part inside or the module of the GC starting from the inlet what is the pressure what is the temperature what is the column how much is the flow what is the temperature on the detector side you have a TCD and then you have an FID what are the temperatures so all these uh, different modules inside the gas chromatograph where your method is going to operate are accessible using a browser even sitting from your home or out, outside the lab or in another building so this is a quite a good intelligent and uh, smart features available in the new 8890 gc these days some of those uh, uh, built-in uh, self-aware features are you know diagnostics tests so you can perform a diagnostic test by itself yourself you don't need to call a service engineer probably you and then because of user interface allows you all the virtually you can access it from anywhere so these uh, smart diagnostic tests for example you feel there is a leak inside the inlet so you can initiate a inlet inlet leak pressure test so this will perform by itself and then it will guide you even if you have never done such a test before or you are not familiar with gas chromatography so much you still can do this diagnostic test by yourself it has a step-by-step -step instructions how to perform it what are the you know you you have to make any changes you have to disconnect a column or you have to plug a flow path all these steps are indicated on the screen and then probably it, it will pressure test it uh, pressure decay test for a while and then inform you that the inlet is leak free or not 
also it has guided diagnostics troubleshooting available if your fid is not igniting in time probably it will guide you step by step look for the hydrogen flow look for the air flow or you can also program it for the ultimate maintenance feedback for example you can you know say uh, i want to change the liner after every you know 100 runs or i want to look for uh, replace my column every you know 500 runs so this kind of uh, um, maintenance uh, settings you can create it inside the system and it will inform you on the on the browser interface or on on the software on on your phone or the way you prefer it and uh, this is a performance monitoring is happening and self guided maintenance procedure so it does have a, a built in guides in the system itself so onboard help and information is available for gc so you can go through and even you can learn a gc what is a gc or you know what is an inlet how does an in capillary inlet works you know stuff like that how does an fid work or what are the various parameters which i can play with so i can have a better results so this is a built in uh, you know we call in previous days olden days we used to have you know where is the service manual for the system or where is the you know can you give me a user uh, manual for this uh, instrument so all these are built inside in the system itself so you don't have to uh, you know search or ask anyone so this is a, these are some of the smart features available in this DC, including with some of those uh, browser interactions if you are using. So uh, these, this is how it's going to look like uh, once you are in a browser, you want to access the system. So if you click on the inlet, you probably will have a look through the complete inlet settings. So front inlets, uh, you know, assess, uh, which is a back inlet, purge and pack. So th there's a gas saver, you want to switch it on to save your helium carrier gas that is possible from here. Or if you want to look into the leak test, you know, how your, what is your leak, uh, at the inlet side where you have connected the column is my septum in place is my liner is not leak free so all these connections and fittings you can probably do a pressure test and then at the end it does tell you the pressure test failed or passed and if it in case it fails it also tells you where is the problem lies so probably try replacing the septum or try replacing the uh, column nut so these kind of uh, uh, smart features in, uh, are available in the system which are very handy by using your browser interface and then some of those maintenance as i said you know early maintenance feedback you can program your system that you need to replace your gold seal after some you know aging and then you can say you know service it due it does uh, tell you with the alarms you know this is overdue or this is due for replacement so these are very handy day to day so that you get maximum uptime for this dc and then maximum number of samples can be run over a, a smallest period of time without losing your time during breakdowns and then also as i said you know these uh, gc do, does come nowadays with the smart keys which is uh, you know any column nowadays you can opt for with the smart key which which can be fitted into the uh, new model of the gc 8890 uh, and it, it tells you the history and traceability of the column. It uh, allows self-configuration, user tracking, and help automate method development. So this is very important uh, uh, logbook, which uh, every one of us was maintaining in, in a paper-based uh, notebook before. So smart key does contain part number, serial name, production numbers, what are the temperature limits of the column, how many injections has been done, how many runs have been done, so serial number of the instrument it was installed. So this is very important information you can track for a column. So if your column is lying, used column is lying in your lab in a drawer, you do not know is it uh, how long it was used or is it a new one or an old one, probably this data will come very handy and it is very good for traceability as well and from compliance in, in, in many labs.
Some of those are self-aware GC capabilities. I will continue to share with you a few more slides. You know, one of them is user diagnostic test, which is a pressure decay test, or you can even have a jet of FID if it is leaking or restricted ignition problems. So all this can be done in the system. There are autonomous diagnostic tests are available, which is like pre-run flow test or you know pre-sequence tank pressure checks stuff like that this is a very important so you create a sequence for overnight but then if, if your gas is not enough for it, it finishes during the night probably you will have an issue so some of these uh, continuous monitoring tests or these pressure tests are very useful and handy I, I take you now through those uh, TOGA, uh, uh, some of the very nice features and specifications of TOGA analyzer, which is a, you know, it, it's a headspace sampler, which is the one which is introducing the preparing your sample, extracting your sample, equilibrating your sample, and then transferring to a GC for analysis. So it does come in various shapes and sizes. This can be, you know, uh, you, you can configure it with just uh, 12, uh, 12 samples or 111 samples, but then uh, there are three racks uh, are available made of 36 vials each and and but there is a very nice feature available here which are like three priority samples meaning if you if you if you have a large number of samples and you have started a sequence but suddenly there is a requirement to do one particular analysis immediately so then you can put it in one of these vials and it will be taken as a next run and all these samples are generally not go in sequence, but they can be uh, uh, processed in parallel. So, so there is a built-in 12 oven while is uh, 12 while oven is there inside the headspace sampler where it all the samples are you know uh, their temperature equilibrated they are shaken and kept ready for the next analysis so you don't lose while one run is going on which takes around 10 to 15 minutes of analysis on a GC, your second sample is ready to go for the next. So you you uh, overlap your samples, uh, you know you you, uh, and then you can reduce the, uh, you can do more samples uh, in, in an hour. So by overlapping your samples, and then of course for uh, compliance, if you need a barcode reader for uh, traceability, this is a very good option available to label your vials. Some of those hardware features, which is part of this uh, design, is advanced sampling design, which is a thermal enclosure here, which keeps the valve as well as the loop at a very precise constant temperature, so without any variation, so you don't lose any of those very low PPM analytes. And then it has got an onboard EPC module, which is the sixth generation nowadays. So it has got a pneumatic control, which is uh, done by the using proportionating valves and of course the this is one of the while integrity check so it, it the system makes sure that your valves are properly sealed before they are being analyzed so there's a leak check happening and then automatic flow path cleansing is also the part of the software operation so all this is an automated procedures you are probably you need to be just aware of them but they happen as you uh, analyze your samples and then we recently introduced a couple of months before is is the new or uh, headspace sampler 8697 which is a much smaller footprint so and it's a got a, a robust transfer line which uh, runs from the headspace sampler to the inlet of the system and it is optimum sample load so not everyone is analyzing 100 and 11 large number of samples but then if you have a lesser number of samples 48 vials probably you can use a, a new auto sampler here a new new uh, headspace sampler so this is also completely integrated with the gc they look two units to put side by side but when they function they function as one instrument and seamlessly integrated to each other so connected to your software and some of the new features in this new headspace sampler is of course a uh, robust transfer line overlapping and shaking is happening in the in the oven as i explained to you before uh, much smaller footprints and integrated with gc as one unit so you can see this uh, 
uh, headspace sampler is appearing inside the gc configuration of the computer so you can see it in your browser as well and then it does have a 28 wires and barcode reader and you can see here there is no keypad anymore so it is uh, automated and controlled via software fully integrated with the software I'll take you to some of those uh, uh, again Toga slides, which is explaining the details on you know of course this uh, system is built around ASTM 3612C method and also complies to IC 6567 method and it's got a automated headspace sampler you know and it is using plot columns and has got a very robust and direct traps online to the column connections. And then uh, it has got a trace level analysis for CO, CO2 using a methanizer or a jetanizer uh, detected by FID and a fast analysis time, which is less than 15 minutes. With this, all these are best in class features available for analyzing your transformer oil, you know, day over day. So once this comes to your lab, you probably will be analyzing your samples in a very productive way. These plot columns, which are, uh, you know, there's a plot Q column and multi columns, they have integrated particle traps, which probably, you know, prevents the detector spikes and noise. So as you know, the plot columns are coated with the solid particles inside. They are not the liquid phase, they are the solid particles. And then with the flow and temperature, they try tend to dislodge from the inside the column and they flow along with the carrier gas outside, you know, they come out of the column and they strike uh, they create noise and problem in your sample analysis especially when you have low ppm acetylene peak is coming and then you have a spike probably you'll not get a good quantitative results so we it these columns are specially designed with the built-in particle traps so the any particle shedding if it happens they will be trapped inside the column itself in these particle traps and will not cause any spikes or noise in the system and direct interface of this headspace to the GC provides a better and faster results for all the atmospheric gases as well. So because we are also quantifying oxygen, nitrogen, then you probably will have to have a leak free and very precise system. These are some of the uh, analytes we measure and give you a chromatogram at the end, which is carbon dioxide, ethylene, all the light hydrocarbons, uh, you know, hydrogen and combustible gases are also listed here. And some of the RSDs, which is on the retention time, identification of the uh, analytes compound, and, and as well as quantitation of RSD of the system. So if you can see here, you know, they are almost very steady, repeatable results are available from this analyzer. So almost all of them are 0.0, 0.0. So dead stable identification of compounds of the analytes, as well as very stable quantitative results are available for the system as an excellent repeatability of results. These are the chromatogram looks like with the carbon dioxide, ethylene, acetylene, you know, the first of the, the system is here on the FID channel and the second here, chromatogram on the TCD channel. So all these uh, analytes are very well quantitative, identified and reported in a software which is built built in dissolved gas analysis calculations in the report so as i mentioned before you know nowadays it is very important to have a, a software which is networked which is hardware which is browser interface so you can do all the you know work in the lab but away from the lab. So you you can be outside the lab, but you can still be in touch with the real time working of the system. And you don't have to transport the results to an Excel sheet to make the you know calculation of total dissolved combustible gases, or you have to find some a faulty condition or out of specification. So our software has got a built-in reporting feature, which is like pass or fail criteria, which you can establish yourself. Yeah, you know, my acetylene, if it crosses uh, seven PPM analysis, uh, I probably will make it fail. So, and then it, it does report, you know, possible conditions originating because of this failure. So you can see hundreds of samples at a glance very quickly and say, oh, this sample or this batch or this transformer is, needs uh, maintenance or needs a replacement. So this kind of a reporting is part of the 
Google Bioanalytical Analyzer. This is our solution. We have created this reporting template available to all our Toga Analyzer. It does provide you Rogers ratio, total combustible gases, and it complies to the calculations of IEEE guidelines. So this whole reporting is available as a color-coded pass or fail quality criteria out of specifications, uh, which is part of the system. And then also we would like to share with you a new technological advancement as uh, when when it comes to methanizer. So all of us are very familiar with the nickel catalyst used as a methanizer for converting low COCO2 to uh, methane uh, so that we can detect it on an FID at a very, very low quantitative, low PPM levels. But then there is a company called ARC. They have a trademark jetanizer, which is a methanizer, which is built inside the FID jet itself. So these are FID jets. Of course, there is a flame at the top of it, but then they are filled with nickel catalyst or a proprietary catalyst, which is a methanizer also. So you don't need to have a separate methanizer you know, hitting it at 350, 400 degrees as, as a second inlet in the GC. So this becomes a very easy uh, to install, maintain, and uh, simple to operate uh, and uh, on day-to-day -day basis. So it needs no extra plumbing, lower in cost, faster installation. So as little as 60 seconds, you can just replace, a user can replace the methanizer by himself, just replace the FID jet. And you know it does free up a space on the GC. It will not occupy as a second inlet. So and then it is also environmental friendly. The catalyst does not contain nickel stuff, but it is a proprietary catalyst from the Arc uh, Advanced Research Company. With this, I would like to share that the, you know uh, along with all these intelligent smart features and all these uh, um, manufacturing steps we take care of building an analyzer you also have a very reliable customer service support available from Gulf Bioanalytical which is as I said you know uh, remote diagnostics is available or qualified technical specialists will be available online to carry or take on your queries you can get in touch with us on whatsapp on our website you can send us an email or contact us you can also call us on toll free numbers in India and Saudi Arabia, UAE. We have a website called www.gulfbioanalytical.com. And here you can come and chat with us for any of the issues or any of the sales, uh, pre-sales or any issue, ordering or logistic or delivery, any issues, you can come back to us here on this website, chat with us, or also we have a WhatsApp for business available on this site and you can connect with us. With this, I would like to share some of the locations we are operating in, in, the, in this world. So we have we are operating in Saudi Arabia as uh, integrated modern scientific supplies. We are operating in India as well as a hydrocarbon solutions, and then in Abu Dhabi Labins. We have a Gulf Bioanalytical, which is our parent central company in Dubai, and then we have a perfect analytical measurements in Malaysia and uh, Muscat, Al Majir, and Labins in Qatar. So these are the some of the places we. And then not to mention that we do serve uh, have a project department where we serve all other clientele across the world. So we have done some of the projects in Australia, in Canada. So uh, we, uh, we are a global company and we try to provide solutions and give customers the latest technology, including the services and solutions. So with this, I would like to uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining us today and listening to this presentation. And then with this, uh, whatever chat box questions you have already asked or you want to ask, please uh, put the, post them there. And then uh, next we will take up all your questions one by one and connect with you uh, on the chatting session. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.